today's date december the 7th i wanted to document this little deal here uh this is a scooter that i bought on at, at sam's club it's the nine bot fse i don't see too much information about it on the internet so i don't know why but this is something that i built today i built a trailer for it so i can go to the gym put my duffel bag and maybe even go um shopping nearby uh just pretty proud of it uh it's something that i just thought up last minute um i bought some led lights as you can see they blink they're, they're cheap led lights but they have three different modes strobe slow strobe and steady on right then we got these lights here that i bought on amazon they're pretty bright as you can see it's daytime you can still see the light I got one light on this side also. Same thing with the same mode. I got one up here. Right? And I think these do the same thing. So as you can see, we have a uh, good visibility all throughout the day or night. Uh, of course, you have your stock light that I don't have on right now. Uh, this comes with the scooter itself it's um pretty bright itself at night so this is just to get extra attention or to garner extra attention at night or in the daytime uh the reason i constructed this trailer is because i don't want to carry additional weight on my back because this particular scooter does not have suspension so every time it hits a bump um any kind of weight i have on me um will affect my joints not that i'm old or anything but uh, you don't want to have additional weight on your body when you're going through uh, rough patches on the road. Um, I may opt to get a more expensive scooter. I'm looking at the GT2. It's about $4,000 right now, give or take. It might be on special uh, because it's since it's December 2023, they might be having end of the year special. So that's my next scooter for sure, something like that. Uh, the GT2, which is about $4,000 right now. This one here I bought for... $550 at Sam's Club. The scooter I made, I mean the trailer I made myself. Uh, it's very spacious. Going to the back, you can see that I also have visibility too at daytime or nighttime. Um, originally, I had these small tiny wheels right there. They always bottomed out. Um, so I installed an axle and I installed some rubber wheels that came off of one of my brother's uh, equipment. So I was able to use it on this here. Uh, I'm gonna put it like a little plate on there, like a license plate for my one of my motorcycles that I no longer have, just to give it a, a funny look to it, like it like it's a trailer. Cause I am towing a trailer. Of course, I hope the cops don't stop me uh, since the motorcycle plates are no longer valid and I sold that motorcycle a while back. Um, but anyway, I just thought I'd show this. Um, it looks pretty nice and it's actually level. As you can see, it's level with the, the trailer and I'm able to tow about, I tried it out, I towed about 35 pounds. What I did was I, I dragged one of these weight plates. Here's the weight plate. This is a 35 pound weight plate and it was able to tow that fine. I did notice a decrease in the torque and speed overall. But for towing 35 pounds and it's something that you don't, I mean, I'm not gonna tow 35 pounds of clothes going to the gym I don't, I don't think my weight belt weighs that much but i wanted to try it out with 35 pounds so if it does tow 35 pounds easily then it shouldn't have a problem with my duffel bag or maybe even if i even decide to go to like a fast food and worry about how i'm gonna keep the plate level so what i do is pop this open very spacious and you can see it's uh one of those luggage um, deals a luggage tote so you can put food in here you can put your duffel bag very spacious man look at this it's huge it is very huge I bought it at a secondhand store the first time I seen it I said I gotta have it because I like the color this color here matches my motorcycle let's go to the motorcycle I have a uh, Can-Am Spider and you can see the color on my bike it's uh, almost the same color I hardly ever use my Canon. I need to start using this more often. But yeah, that's the reason I bought it because 
I initially thought about rigging up a compartment for the uh, back, although I do have a uh, the original back seat slash trunk that that comes with the bike. The unit by itself will cost like about twenty five hundred dollars. This is the unit by itself. So the reason I bought that luggage rack thing and decided to make a trailer was because I like the color. The color matches my actual motorcycle. Anyway, excuse excuse the mess. I just finished up with it right now and I just thought I'd cover it up. I want to give it a stroll, but I'm not dressed appropriately and I have to unlock my gate, so I don't want to do all that mess. Uh, but I did try it out yesterday. The only thing I did today was improve it uh, with the uh, better tires. So if it worked fine with the smaller tires, it's going to work even better with the uh, larger rubber tires that I installed right now. Um, I like the look of it. You're able to lock it with the key. Um, and it slips on and off as you can see right here and what I do is I get bungee cords and I wrap it around so if it does bounce it won't pop off but even with the weight I don't think it would pop off and you want to keep this from hitting your tail light uh, you might want to cover your tail light uh, with a piece of tape while you're using this trailer just in case it backs up and you don't want that this trailer to rub and scar up your tail light but other than that i see no issues it's, it's a perfect fit as you can see slides right on top no problem whatsoever i even you know drove it without bungee cords so what i do is i tie i got these little tiny bungee cords and i just wrap it around here just to keep it from popping off as, a, as, a, as an extra measure of protection but yeah one more look at the trailer and like i said i just bought this recently this luggage rack at a secondhand store and i bought it just because of the color i didn't need it but i also thought you know what i have trailers on everything i have i have a see that hitch on my motorcycle i have i have trailers on everything that i own i have a custom bike that has a trailer or actually a cargo area so i mean everything i i i, I drive or whatever i want it with the capability of having a trailer my cars have hitches on the back and i thought why not the scooter but anyway, uh, I'm going to conclude this video. I uh, want to reiterate that I do have the additional lights I bought on, on the Amazon. One, two, three, four. And then you got the one on the handlebar five. Then you got those two right there that blink or stay solidly red. Um, I could put more lights on it if I wanted to. Probably, pour, I'm, I'm probably going to put more lights on the uh, side of the trailer just for more visibility. I can uh, also put some type of battery or something in there just as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a power source for maybe a little portable radio or, or something. But anyway, uh, that's gonna conclude this video.